and we're with Pace Magazine, and we're here at Soul Vegetarian in Atlanta, Georgia. We're about to hang out with Surfer Blood before their show later on this evening at the Drunken Unicorn. We're going to play a little game with them to get to know them a little bit better. And to see how well they know each other. I mean, he doesn't really act like a rock star, but he does. He definitely commands the most attention yeah. when we're playing. I mean, I can't sit still. Like, yeah, every time he moves, his hair goes like that. So, definitely. It, you know, <laughs> I'd say he's also the most visually stunning. <laughs> yep. All right. Can we do this? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> TJ. <laughs> TJ. Um, I don't know. TJ's the only one who actually serves. So, yeah. um, so you do serve? Well, yeah. 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 Not, not as much anymore. Okay. He always like tries to get me whenever we're home to like go out with him, but I always find ways. Otherwise, you just might lose your nerve. I swear that I should explore. He's got the songs in his blood, you know? I know, I could stop if I wanted to. And I'm really bad at everything else, so I'd say it's more than likely. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to be snarky. I'm just. I just can't really imagine JP as anything else but a human. The Morning Benders. Yeah, the new Morning Benders. Pretty good. Um, yeah. I really like them. Uh, Steelers Wheel too. A lot. What's uh, what's Nathan's old man? Continental Divide. Continental Divide. That's a. That's a great one we're blasting an, right now. It's an old band from Tallahassee. Yeah. Werewolf. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I'd be a vampire. I'm, werewolves can't control. Yeah, you gotta really think about this one. Yeah. I'd, do the, I'd do the vampire, definitely. Probably yeah, werewolves sounded cool at first. But even though, <laughs> even though I don't like what's going on in popular culture with vampires right now at all, I'd probably still do the vampire thing. Yeah, vampires are cool. Because there's a chance you hurt people you love when you're a werewolf, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think Brian probably would actually be the last one standing. Yeah. It'd either be me or Marcos. We have the we have the most knowledge when it comes to, I think, right? You're you're pretty good at zombies too, aren't you? Yeah. I've read, you know, like you know, like where do you go? Yeah, where do you go when the zombie apocalypse starts? What weapons you use? All that stuff. <laughs> it's oh, either JP. yeah. <laughs> I, I probably get. I'd be close behind. Sorry. Right. <laughs> I think I actually like, I'm kind of squeezing though. Yeah. Like, yeah. That'd be cool. Like, I feel like I would just I would mess up and just get bit on accident and be like, oh crap, and then not tell anybody. <laughs> well, know? hopefully this yeah, day will never kill come. This question is really hypothetical. I don't know yeah. why zombies don't eat themselves. I mean, the part that they don't put in movies is eventually that if you stay out. If you stay outside of their reach long enough, zombies will starve to death. I mean, think about that. Yeah. So, it's their only prerogative to eat food. How can they... But they still want to eat. They still... What their body it? reanimates. Yeah, they have to keep themselves alive. Yeah, they have to Sustaining to themselves with brains. So, the is, yeah. see? Yeah. This is why I think I would probably <laughs> survive until the end. I thought... Yeah, I thought about it a lot. We're safe for blood again. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>